hey everyone welcome back to my channel dental cafe so today we are going to discuss about the mccord or the admis admix technique of impression in severely resolved ridges impression taking in or making in severely resolved ridges are very difficult so i'm going to tell you in a very very simple way how to take an impression in severely resolved ridges using mccord or admix technique okay then let's begin the video first of all you should know what is mccord and tyson technique or admix technique so this technique was given by mccord and tyson and that is why it is called mccord and tyson technique it involves the use of viscous admix of impression compound and green stick pressing compound this technique is used for the secondary impression of flat or severely resolved mandibular bridges basically from class 4 to class 6 of Cowood and Howell uh, classification of ridges and what is this classification I'll tell you in the later video so what is Cowood and Howell classification of edentulous jaw or the classification of to identify the height and the width of the residual alveolar ridge of the edentulous patient or we can say it's a classification of change of shape of the alveolar process of the mandible and maxilla so they divide the ridges in class 1 to class 6 in 6 classes so begin with the class 1 that is dentate it means just before the extraction as you can see in the figure we have a palatine process and the alveolar process so ridges just before extraction is fall under class 1 that is dentate then class 2 this is immediately post extraction as you can see in the figure class 2 is the ridges just after extraction as you can see we will remove the tooth and the ridges after the extraction is the class 2 and this is the width and the height of the ridges just after extraction there is no obvious resorption in the height and the width is noticed and in such ridges we are not going to fabricate or construct a denture because they are not suitable for the denture construction because these ridges ridges are just immediately after the extraction then we have a class 3 in class 3 we have a well rounded ridge form adequate in height and width from class 3 level 2 we have a adequate height and width look at the figure as you can see in the figure we have a well rounded ridge form and this is the width and the height of the um, ridge you can see there is a some resorption of height and width occur but still height and width is adequate in class 3 and the ridge anatomy will not complicate the denture form formation or construction you can easily construct the uh, denture in class 3 cases you have no problem related to stability or retention of the denture because ridges are well rounded adequate in height and width then we have a class 4th. In class 4th, ridges are knife edge, adequate in height but inadequate in width. Now from class 4 onwards, there is a decrease, there is reduce or narrowing of the width occur. Width is knife edge. It itself means there is a narrowing of the width. So you can see in the figure, we have a we have a as you can see in the figure that now ridge ridge become knife edge so there is a some resorption of height but extensive loss of width occur in class 4 you can very well see in the figure there is some loss in height but the width loss is very extensive so the ridge anatomy in this case is also ridge anatomy will not complicate the denture construction now the class 5th in class 5th flat ridge form inadequate in height and width so look at the figure the ridge become flat it means there is a reduce in the ridge height so you can see in the figure 
the changes in the width and the height that occur so there is extensive loss of height which will result in broad and the flat base and there is a loss in the width too because of loss in the height and the width uh, which will result in broad ridge base this ridge anatomy will definitely create a problem in fabrication of denture it is very difficult to uh, fabricate a denture in such type of ridges so in class 4 in class 5th and class 6th type of ridges we are going to use a mccord technique and the second one is the all green technique in this video we i'm going to tell you a mccord technique in the next video i'm going to tell you a what is all green technique both are very good and easy technique to take a impression in uh, severely resolve ridges and obtain retention then we have a class 6th now in class 6 depressed ridge form with some basilar loss evident up to class 5th we have a flat base now from the class 6th there is a depressed ridge form you can see a depression in the ridges so you can see in the figure we have a depressed de depression in the ridge mean you can see a um depressed ridge okay and look at the height and the width there is a extensive loss in height and width result in depression in ridge in class 6 cases there is extensive loss of both in height and a width which will result in depression and the ridge anatomy will make denture construction very complex class 5th and 6th ridges are the classic ridge form for using mccord technique of impression we can also use mccord technique in class 4th now bone loss in the posterior region or the classification of edentulous jaw in posterior region so you can see in the figure first one is the class 1 and you can see in blue we have a maxillary sinus so we can see a bone loss in relation to the maxillary sinus so first one is the class 1 that is dentate it means just before extraction second we have a class 2 immediately just after extraction in class 2 no obvious resorption in height and width of the bone or the ridge occur but we cannot fabricate that uh, denture in unhealed ridges in class 3 we have a well round form ridges and some resorption in height and the width of the ridge occur and ridge anatomy will not complicate the denture construction we can easily fabricate the denture in well rounded form ridges in class 4 we have a knife edge ridges as you can see in the figure there is extensive loss in width but a some loss in height occur so this is example of class 4th in knife knife edge ridges we can also fabricate or construct denture very easily now in class 5th we have extensive loss in height but the width is adequate there is a some loss in width due to extensive loss in height the base of the ridge become flat and this this will create a difficulty in construction of denture in class 6th now there is extensive loss in width as well as height which will result in depression in the ridge and in such case ridges in class 4th and class 5th ridges it is very difficult to construct a denture using conventional technique so in class 5th and class 6th we are going to use a mccord technique or a all green technique of fabrication of a uh, denture so begin with the steps in mccord technique of impression for severely resorbed ridges all green technique i'll tell you in the next video so first we are going to take a primary impression as in all the cases of complete denture then we'll fabricate a custom tray then we'll do a tray adjustment then we'll take a admix or mccord technique impression then we'll do a tongue movement to record uh, borders and then final is the wash 
impression begin with the first step by taking a primary impression we are going to take a primary impression using a stock tray with alginate or with the impression compound you can use any material for taking a primary impression and then pour the cast so that we can fabricate the custom tray after primary impression we are going to fabricate the custom tray with the handle or stops and after fabrication of custom tray we are going to perform a border molding so till the fabrication of custom tray all the steps are same as in the conventional method of taking impression after uh, custom tray the method of taking border molding is different fourth fifth and sixth step of my core technique i'm going to tell you in a part two so don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest video and yeah if you want any topic for me to explain in detail do comment on comment section and very soon i'm going to start my uh, neat series so subscribe my youtube channel so that it will be easy for you to prepare for neat